are you drinking? Urine? <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts. It's Edith, I'm Corbin. Do I have stuff in my teeth? Ugly. I was eating lunch, and I still I still have a remnant of it. As over most there. people do. Eat yeah, lunch. but mine was was has the potential to be truly riveting in the teeth area. <laughs> he falls on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> It's so picture, juicy. Mm. 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 Beloved, feel it in your nuggets. Today, we're doing a movie review. <sighs> uh, and it's a Bengali film. Heck yeah, well, it is. Uh, it's a film that it was produced in the Bengali industry. <laughs> yes. There's, outside of a few stuff in the background, there's no dialogue in this film. So if you haven't seen this film, I'm pretty sure it was a pretty independent film. Uh, but we are... Uh, it's called, well, at least in English, it's called Les Beurs of Lerev. Yes, it is called Les Beurs of Lerev. Uh, um, but but in, in, in Bengali in, in the, translation. In Bengali, it's Asha Juar Mache, which more literally translated means in between coming and going. That's the more literal translation of the words Asha Juar Mache. Really? But, yeah, but I understand after watching the film, I understand. I love the idea that it had been called in between coming and going, but I, I like Labor yeah, of Love. It's a I little like more, it's more subtle. Yeah. yeah. Than, uh, than I think the other one uh, is. Mm -hmm. um, but I like, as the movie continued, I, I understood and appreciated what, what was going on. Yeah. Uh, and I, hold on. <laughs> it's not even coming up. Hold on. Okay, cool. Sorry. That's it okay. It didn't come up as Labor of Love. It came up as uh, the other one. Starring uh, Rithwick. Rithwick Chakraborty. That's how you pronounce that, right? Yes. And uh, then... And uh, Bashodota Chatterjee. As woman. As woman. <laughs> and directed <laughs> yeah. by Aditi Vikram Sangupta. Uh, and... Yeah. So it's... It's going to be a spoiler review. Yeah. But... I would, I would encourage you to go watch it. I believe it's on Amazon, uh, for us at least. I don't know for everybody else, but it's an ex it's less than a normal film. So it's an hour 20. Uh, we didn't, there was no subs because there's no dialogue except for two parts. Uh, the beginning, it's like a black screen and then there there's some background noise and they're talking about a labor union and, and stuff like that. And then one other time, it's a protest. Right. Uh, which we also didn't have, so we were watching with Indrani. Yes. To tell you what they were t the saying. No, actually, because okay. it didn't... It didn't matter very much. It doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. No. Yeah, making sure. Uh, but, yeah, so if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Uh, it's, once again, really short. Uh, so uh, this is, I think, our sixth Bengali? Seventh, I think maybe? that's right. Six or seven. Because uh, Apu is three films. <laughs> yeah. Always forget that. I forget that. I forget that. Is, that. that is three films, uh, just like Lord of the Rings is... Three, Three films. films. But um, I do like that. I think of Lord of the Rings as a single film. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Harry Potter, I have to watch them all if I watch them. I'm not going exactly. to start in the middle. No, exactly. Uh, so anyways, so yes, this is a 2014 film. Rick, your initial thoughts. I sometimes have a paragraph. Mm -hmm. I have one word. Okay. Uh, the word is autolonia. And what does that mean in Bengali? Or, Autolonio. I think that's more more perfect in the pronunciation. I'm still learning uh, Bengali. Uh, that word basically means incomparable. So she matchless. So you hated it. I am still. <laughs> I am. I am still in the afterglow of what I saw, and it is. You know, everything we do, we compare to header as far as like our, our favorite Indian films, but Hedder is always gonna remain a singular kind of entity because it's an interpretation of Shakespeare. Mm. So if you take that aspect away, which you, you really can't because that's what makes it so incredible. If you were just looking at Hedder as a film, if you weren't seeing it as an interpretation of the greatest play ever written, right? Mm. And just as a standalone film, I would still love the film. Mm -hmm. But comparatively, mm -hmm. taking away the Shakespeare element, <laughs> Just ignore that. 
Never mind the upstaging. We're not talking about Cholet. Man, this this film is falling apart. This, this uh, channel is falling apart. apart. Literally. Uh, this is not only my favorite film we've seen in the past two years, but this is one of the best films I've ever seen. Spoiler, Rick liked a Bengali film. What? Yeah, actually, you didn't like one Bengali film. There was one that you did. That's true. And, and the, by the way, the I'm not like some of you idiots who like a film just because it came from a certain region. No, he likes it because his girlfriend likes it. No, that's... <laughs> That's that's not true either. I'm just being a dick. Yes, you are. Oh uh, it it uh, and I have to say, as we'll get into the details of the film. Yeah. Uh, I I said this to Indrani when we were done watching it, as I was wiping the tears off of my cheeks. Oh, it made you cry. Oh my god. <clears throat> to the point where I had a hard time talking, describing the things that were impacting me as I was talking to Indrani about it, and just yeah. let the credits roll so I could let the music play. Yeah. And what I said to her was, I really want someone I know here in the States to watch the film and then tell me what they think. Because in the same way when I watch Schindler's List, I can't separate the fact that I have family of mine that died in concentration camps. Mm -hmm. Or if I watch anything that's involving it Italians, you know, and even like when I watch Rocky, the personal connection that Rocky looks like he could be one of my family members and the, that's so personal. So I can't escape how personal the film is for me, mm -hmm. having been to Calcutta. Yeah. The sights and the sounds of everything. I have so much I want to say, so we'll get into that. Synopsis for me. This is, for me, one of the greatest motion pictures I've ever seen any language. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it as well. <laughs> uh, I thought it was really... It, it was very personal to me as well because I actually went through partial of this uh, in terms of work schedules mm -hmm. uh, early on with my wife uh, when I was saving up to come out to Los Angeles. I was working two jobs at the time. One job was Starbucks, and that was Monday through Friday, 4.30 in the morning till one o'clock. And then Best Buy controlled the rest of my schedule. Right. So I usually, and I, I uh, so it could have been most of the days that I worked at both was 4.30 in the morning till one, mm -hmm. and then I'm at Best Buy at two until about 10 or 11 at night. Mm -hmm. uh, so there were Sometimes five days a week where I didn't really see my wife outside of that. I called her at lunch right. or she worked down the road. And so I would, I would take her, uh, like a, bring her a coffee and that would be the only time I would see her during the day. And then I would always make sure we had at least one day together yeah. uh, to, to, to be together. So it was, a, it was very relatable. And I think a lot of people, you don't have to be Indian to relate to this story. I would obviously. hope not. No, uh, not at all. I just know there's an, like, for example, I, I put in my notes that, you know, I'm, first of all, I'm only five minutes into this and the sights and sounds are so definitively Calcutta that I'm getting emotional. Mm -hmm. And this is as close as you're ever going to get to a visit to Calcutta without actually going. And I mean, not a, hey, let's take a tour of Calcutta. I mean, what happens when you go and you have feet on the ground and you're taking your time. It was, it was, a, it was a big character in the film. It it was the Huge. third character. And I mean, and I'm in Calcutta every day yeah. because I'm, I'm on video call. So the background, certain things I knew that were coming. Yeah. The voices in the loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. The uh, sounds of those birds and the crows in the morning. Mm -hmm. The conch cells being blown. I was waiting. I said it at one point. I said, where are the conch cells? And then the conch cells started to blow. Um, those are blown every morning? In, and, in yeah, they're, it's part of worship. Uh, mm -hmm. Not just during Durga Puja, but just as an extenuating part of life. Whenever there's a point of, of morning prayer and worship, yeah. or even in the evening, uh, you'll hear in the, in the back ceiling fans. Uh, yeah. Indrani always has her ceiling fan going. So, it, it, well, in the summer months. Uh, so, so many things. And, and the going to buy fish, uh, cooking it in mustard oil. Those things are definitively Bengali and mm -hmm. definitively Calcutta. But then when you remove yourself from that, that's why I want people that I know who've never been, have no connection to just watch this. Because apart from that, I got to say, when I looked up and saw that this was this man's directorial debut, I was freaking gobsmacked, flabbergasted. Mm -hmm. This is, I can't think of a directorial debut as good. I'd this have, I'd have to go boggled <laughs> my mind that this is his first film. Yeah, and it was very impressive because to make a film that does not have dialogue is, is a difficult task because you have to keep people interested. And a lot of what keeps people interested is 
conversations or and that's how you, you carry the story along so to just do it with the visuals uh you're taking a on a, a massive task and i'm glad he, he wasn't intimidated by making this less than a normal a normal feature film is 90 minutes that's that's basically like the bare minimum to get yeah. to, even though it, I think it's for actually 50 minutes to 90 is actually a full feature. Yeah, as far but as like qualifications at the Oscars and yeah, stuff, but I think the Globes is 40, the Oscars is 50. something. Yeah. But the normal film, the shortest you'll usually ever get is 90 minutes. 90 minutes, that's it. That's, yeah. that's usually the shortest. So he, yeah. he went even 10 minutes less. And I think that was probably good because you don't, it was, it was such a good story that, that he was wanting to tell and he wasn't intimidated by, by making it a, a much shorter film uh, than normal Indian films are yeah. used to doing. Yeah. But he, he definitely kept you, or is it a he, right? I'm, it's a I'm he. Not. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, he definitely kept you engaged. And, and I, you figured out early on that this was obviously two people that were, had two very different, I don't know when you figured that out, but I, it was, I thought pretty obvious towards the beginning that these were two people and this was their story is, that they obviously came more clear. And which, by the way, this is, we don't have to blame anything on Rohan. Here's what happened. When I, when we did the reaction to this and I told Indrani Labor of Love, mm -hmm. she doesn't know it by that name oh, okay. at all. And it's not a translation of the Bengali. Gotcha. The, the translation of the Bengali properly is gonna come somewhere in the neighborhood of in between coming and going. Mm. So when I said, Rohan said your favorite film was Labor of Love, she's like, I don't know. This is this is her favorite show. <laughs> so Rohan, you were right. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, which I I just so let's just talk on the because there's the technical aspects of both the directing and the acting, and then there's the just the story compound, right? Yeah, we can talk about the story. Let's talk about the story. Um, that you brought it up the un the universal understanding that everyone's going to have. First of all, I said this At to least Indrani. working class people. Yeah, absolutely. I said this to Indrani. I said, this was a reminder that you don't have to live in different places to have a long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. That this couple, as an example, would have a harder relational challenge than even Indrani and I have. Mm -hmm. Because we get to see each other far more often than they get to interact. Mm -hmm. And the I felt... So when he has his dream, right? Mm -hmm. I knew we were being shown a dream and I knew we'd be told later what it meant because all we got was him in the forest. Actually, I don't know if it was a dream. It was like a dreamlike state before oh, no. they were together. It was a dream because he was asleep. He had just fallen asleep. Yeah, but then at the end, it was the exact same thing. And I think it's their, it's their dream state of being together. So it's like a dream. No, it, that hence, that's what they're doing. The reason you're introduced to it at that point when he's asleep and he has an actual dream. And you get that later. And she has the same thing happen. It's much quicker than well, it is. I just don't think they showed you a full, I think they were actually together at that, that, that time, I believe. They were together at what time? No, during like, they were showing you part of the dream state of them being that 15 minutes of passing. That's what I thought. No, I, what I saw is when you see that forest black and white thing for mm -hmm. the very first time, He's, he has fallen asleep, and I got something to say about his performance in this and that scene in particular. But when he fell asleep, he has the dream. Yeah. And it's just a few seconds of him in this forest. And obviously the reason we're shown that is because later on, when he walks in the door and looks at her, mm -hmm. no, one, no one's asleep when we go to the dream place. Mm -hmm. What we're shown is that the dream of both of their lives is to just be together. Mm -hmm. So when they're together, their dreams are coming true because everything that they're doing, the labor of love that they're doing is to fight forward and have a life together. And the first and only time you see them smile is at the end when he comes up the stairs and he walks in the door and he looks at her and he smiles. Yeah. That's when I started to cry. I know you won't agree, but that's actually how I wish it would have ended. Oh no. I know you don't agree. That's oh, fine. Oh no. It's, if I was a filmmaker, that's how I would have ended it. Oh my stars, no. But I did, 
Actually, it would have been fine, smile, and then, because I did enjoy the fact that it began the exact same way it ended with her walking down the, yes. the corridor. Yeah. But I, it's just personal preference. It's nothing no, wrong. I, that whole, <laughs> the whole... You know I don't like those types of things. Taking us, taking us to the dream come true. Mm -hmm. uh, and having them, and I loved that what we see in their dream is their marriage bed. Mm-hmm. And they're just sitting on it, and arms around each other, and then oh, I get emotional again thinking about it. The looking at the watch, and all they got was that moment, and now it's time. And uh, screw you, time, you know. And that everything he's done, the being alone, the thinking about her, the having different schedules, working at a job that isn't very fulfilling, but he's doing it. And I love their wake up calls to each other. Yeah. Uh, and then just all of that is to just to be able to sit on the bed and watch her do her hair. Uh, I, I just, when it, I, I started crying the minute he saw her and didn't stop crying until 15 minutes after the movie was over and I was <laughs> talking to Indrani about it. <laughs> yeah, and they did a, a whole bunch of other really uh, unique things. You know, the the calls when you at oh. the end when you actually realize that's what they were doing is they're calling each they're other, they wake each other up even though... I would have just said, you know, hi, I love you. <laughs> that's what I would have done. Well, I, but I don't think they were allowed to be on. The yeah, that's phone. that's possible. Yeah, uh, that's so that's that's it. But uh, that those moments, and then also when he's getting ready, and then he, he, I think he, like, does this with his pants. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, he does this with his pants, and then her image for that split second pops up on the mirror with her bendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Because uh, you know he's, he sees her bendy, so he's thinking of her. Of course. The, on the mirror, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of little ways where you know they're in this awful situation of this is I, they have to have these jobs obviously to 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 live, yes. and I'm guessing these are the only jobs they could find, mm -hmm. uh, and so they have to make the best of it mm -hmm. and make uh, the most of the little moments they have together. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's a beautiful, simple story that it was shot so incredibly well the cinematography in this thing was absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, uh it, like i said i've never i've never been to calcutta but it was definitely the third character in the entire film yeah it was and as far as the um uh you know people t people talk about bong joon ho yeah particularly talk about his symmetry and his mathematics mm -hmm. and his his cinematography with it working this was comparable i, I actually i said to indrani why isn't a film like this submitted as India's representation at the Oscars? Right. As a film like this. It wasn't. You chose uh, unfortunately. She, she said she didn't know. And I, gotcha. I, I don't know if it was or it wasn't. But why, why, why it wouldn't be included? Because of all the films I've been watching this year that are submitted, both in the, the, the American films and the international films, even Minari. Minari isn't as good as this film. Minari is a really good film. Minari is extremely good and it sucks that it had to be categorized by the Hollywood Foreign Press, which foreign is their middle name. They need to change their rules. It's not a foreign film. It was produced in America. It's an American story. It just happens to have more than 51% of its dialogue in Korean. Anyway, this film is... There are so many shots that have been set up both in the framing and the lighting, there were times where I thought, is this all natural lighting or is the lighting so good? I think it's natural. And I, I don't know which one it was. I love, like, when the shot came for sunset and all we see are the black, dark outlines of the building and the very orange sun against a black sky dropping down. I said to Indrani, I said, he won't cut till that sun's gone. Yep. And there it goes, there it goes. I said, nope, nope. And the minute it disappeared, cut. But then he surprises us later when we see and I'm beautiful. We see her wet footprints right where his wet footprints yeah, this, were. This guy did not care about boring you with long shots. No, they weren't all, bore was, all. No, no, I'm not saying I was they're intentional. He was bored, but uh, yeah. he does not care. Like I'm staying on the shot till it's done. And yet remains unpredictable because when he goes to her footprint, mm -hmm. I said to Indrani, I said, because it started to disappear. Just like the oil in the yeah. pan started to disappear. And I said, and he won't cut until the footprints dis disappear. And he said, yeah, Rick, you think? And he cut before the footprint disappeared. And I laughed. I laughed out loud. I said, oh, this director is something else. Mm -hmm. And it's that level of subtlety 
When we talk about movies that annoy us because exposition is awful and it's done in the dialogue, film is about showing, not telling. So when you, this is the perfect example of how you are to convey something without having it put into the script or the dialogue. And this conveyed everything of not just their relationship, but how circumstances constrain you and you have to make the best of the circumstances. It also talked about the fact that they're doing what they're doing because of work situation, economic situation, political situation that they're living in that are beyond their control. I'm personally living in that right now. Mm -hmm. Indrani can't come to me and I can't go to Indrani because of our government yeah. right now. India won't let e-visas for Americans come in because of COVID and she has to go through a freaking process to try and get a visa to come here. Mm -hmm. So it sucks to think the only reason you're not with the one you love is because of a government or a job or economy. And this, this covers that as well as you know what this feels like. Anybody who's worked at a job that you do over and over and over, the sights and the sounds of the routine are life. That is what life is about. And he did that over and over again where you just were, it, this wasn't a slice of life, the full immersion into what it means to be a couple living and working in Calcutta. And I like how he did it because at the beginning she was at work and he was that he was the one doing the the stuff at home. Yeah, you know, uh, taking down the laundry, and then then you saw him put up stuff he needed done, like he had the hole in his pants, and then oh, the, the big hole switch, in the pants when the, she fixed it. The big switch was obviously he put she put the keys, and this was obviously if you hadn't realized it by that, but uh, it'd be weird if you hadn't realized it by that time. The, he she dropped it. He dropped the key in the window and right. then when she it came home and it switched. Now she's at right. home, he's at work. Uh, and so the whole process is reversed and so you saw their whole, their whole relationship. And yeah. Really and beautiful. I'm going to point something out here that, um, <sighs> there is a moment I would, if I was teaching, I would be using this moment and I'll bring it up again over and over again of superb acting. And it's a moment that would pass you by if you really weren't aware of this kind of thing. So, Rithik is lying down to nap at the beginning Ritwick? of the film. It's spelled Ritwick, but in Bengali, it's more approximating a Rithik pronunciation. Mm. Um, and, and again, I'm a Bangla Shikji, I'm learning Bengali, but I'm learning it from a very good source and have it inundated over and over and over again with my conversations with Indrani. And uh, I, there's a moment where he's, he lays down to take his, to go to bed, right? And the fan's blowing. And the wind blows his shirt up and you see his stomach. And when I watch films, there's here's how I will know if the acting in it is, in my opinion, worth celebrating or not. If I'm watching and I'm fully immersed and I'm not thinking about the acting, they're doing a great job. The times that are frustrating for me is when I'm watching people and I'm wishing I could be in the room with them and ask them to redo the scene and I want to give them some notes and some redirection and see if we can tap into some things that they're dealing with with subtext or emotional recall or whatever it may be because I think they've got walls or boundaries. And then there's acting I just can't watch and it just annoys me. The brilliance of this guy to be in the moment because what inexperienced actors would do in that moment is they would lie down, the wind would blow, and the thing would go up and the actor would think, oh, my stomach is being shown right now. Oh, that's, it's on camera, that's kind of uncouth maybe, and they'd fix it. But that man in that moment sleeping in that bed, he wouldn't touch that, and he didn't. That's brilliant acting. If I could show you in one thing with no one saying anything, what's the difference between a good actor and a bad actor? I would show you what he did in his decision to just be there and lay in bed. That's brilliant acting. There you go. <laughs> so you liked it. <laughs> I genuinely mean this. It, it is, I said this, I have to, when I see a movie that is this good and sticks with me for days, I have to measure it and weigh it in terms of, this is at first impact for me, it's unquestionably one of the greatest pieces of cinema I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the next closest thing of a film that I saw where I was like, this is one of my favorite movies ever, was a portrait of a lady, young lady, portrait of a lady on fire from France. That was immediately in my list. But I'm talking, this for me is immediately in my top ten, if not my top five, of films that for me is, if you want to see how movie making's done, 
and it can't be done any better than this, this is one of those films. I like it. It's not that for me. Yeah, it is. But I like no the question film. for me. <laughs> and for those of you in comments saying, because it's the Bengali thing and the whole, I could give a rat's ass about your bias toward me. I know I love artistry above any of my personal preferences, so... There you have it. And his girlfriend liked it, so that's he has to like it. So what, what is he going to do? No, I don't, I, <laughs> I, I don't do that. Let us know what you thought about the film. And what should be the next Bengali film oh, uh, that we should watch? Which... And this director, I just, sir, for this being your directorial debut, please make a hundred films a year. <laughs> I want you to, I want to see more of your genius, and I'll, I have so much to say about this, I'm gonna do make an Make a film a year. I'll do an afterthought. Make a film a year, don't make a hundred. Qual quality better than quantity. <laughs>